Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in. I'm doing a slightly technical video today and in this video I'm going to show you how you can get yourself a high quality render of your Roblox avatar which is most likely to be used in your YouTube thumbnails but you could use it for like, any sort of creative project you've got going. So what I mean by a render is high quality images such as this or like this and one more like this so you can see we've got a really high quality image there. Now the programs we're going to use in this video are completely free. And before I go any further, I'm just going to show you the programs that you need. So go ahead and get these programs, pause the video while you're downloading them and installing them, and then we'll carry on with the technical stuff. So program number one that you need is Roblox Studio. That's what I'm using right now. And you can get that very easily by simply going to a web browser, search for Roblox Studio. It should be your first thing and then just download it. Um, program number two that you need, which is also free, is called Blender. So we're just going to type in Blender Download in the search bar. And this is what you're looking for here, blender.org and download. So go ahead and install it for whatever operating system you're using. And I'll see you back here in a second. Okay, now you've got both of those programs. The first one you want to load up is Roblox Studio. So this is what I've just opened up here and you need to log in exactly as you would do as if you were signing into your Roblox account. And once you're logged in, you'll be met with this screen here. And if you're not, if you just hit new, it'll bring you to this screen and these are also the beginner templates. And all we want is the base plate. So click on that and that should give you just this generic empty space and then we need to load in our avatar so we're just going to come up here and click play shortly you should see our avatar load in now the avatar that loads in will be whatever you've currently got equipped so if you want a different avatar just make sure you've equipped that avatar before loading it into the game so all we need to do next it doesn't matter where the camera's pointing or anything you're just going to come here and click on workspace i'm going to come down to where it's got your account name and we're going to right click it and you can see now that it's drawn a box around my whole avatar so that's what we're going to mess around with you could spend time putting your avatar into a pose and a few different things but i'm not doing that on this tutorial i'll probably do that as a separate one because it's a little bit more complicated and now all we need to do now once we've got this selected we've got one last step to do and then we're done with studio we are going to export our avatar just to a file so once again i'm going to come over to where it says username up here and right click and go down to export selection. Now we can give it a name, so I'm gonna call it, it looks a bit surprised, this avatar, so I'm gonna call it surprised avatar. And we're just gonna choose a file to put it in, so I'm just gonna put it in my OBD games file. And there we go, that is saved. And we're done with studio, so we can go ahead and we can shut that down. Don't need to save it. So that is step one. Should only take you a few minutes, certainly after a bit of practice. So the next, we're gonna open up Blender. Now, there's a lot going on on this screen. Don't be overwhelmed by it. I'm gonna talk you through it step by step, so it's not too confusing at all. So all I've done there is I've just clicked anywhere to get rid of that start screen. And you should find that you start with just this generic block. Now, we do not need that block. So we're gonna click on it and just hit delete and get rid of it. And now we need to bring in our Roblox avatar that we've just saved. So we're going to come up to file up here. I'm going to come down to import. And what you're looking for is this wavefront.obj because that's the file format that the Roblox Studio saves. And then we need to find the folder that we just saved our avatar in. So I'd call mine surprised avatar.obj. So select the one you want and hit import waveform. And your avatar will appear somewhere on the screen. Now, if you'd had your avatar in the middle of the base plate in studio, it will appear roughly in the middle here, but don't worry where it is, we can find it. You can find it anywhere on this, I'm gonna call it plane, <laughs> it might be the wrong word, but you'll be able to find it anywhere. And if you can't see it for any reason, just click on move here, and then you get this little icon thing appear here. And using these arrows, you can actually move where the avatar is along these different dimensions. Now, it doesn't matter where you plonk it. I'm just going to, for argument's sake, plonk it roughly in the middle, but it doesn't really matter where you put it. So there we go. We've got our avatar in. Don't worry about the fact that at the moment it doesn't have all the detail on it. That detail will all appear when we make the final step. So don't worry about that for now. So next is a couple of settings that we need to change. We need to come over to here to the right-hand side, and we're going to go to Render Properties. Click on it. Then here where it says Render Engine, we're going to move it down and select Cycles. Then further down in this same menu, we want to go to the film option here and we're going to make exposure. I'm going to start at 10 because that will give it a really sort of distinct uh, color saturation and whatnot. And then we're also going to click the transparent box here, just down here, so that when we do render it, all we're going to get 
is our avatar with a completely transparent background so you can move it and do it however you want. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to frame our image with the camera over here. So we're effectively going to be taking a photo of some or all of our avatar. So there's already a camera default loaded in, but it could be literally anywhere. So the easiest thing to do is come up here and click on camera and you can see that it's highlighted once again here. So we can actually bring our camera over and get it roughly where we want it to be. Takes a little bit of messing around. I'm not the best at this at the moment. So you can see it's roughly in front of our avatar at the moment, but when we press zero to see what the camera is looking at, it's completely and utterly wrong. So we just need to quickly tweak that as well. So you can drag your camera roughly to where you want it. And then we're gonna use these controls on the side here where we're in the object properties tab. We can just use the rotation things. Let's make sure I get the right one, not that one. Is it that one? There it is. To spin it around. So we're looking for this whole cone area to be looking roughly at our avatar. Then we can tweak it. Remember, you can always press zero to see exactly what it's looking at. It might be a bit close there. So I'm just pressing zero again to move it away. So I'm just going to select the camera and pull it a bit further away. Press zero again. So we can see where it's pointing. But once again, we can tweak it with this roughly here. So as you can see here in the box, let me zoom in a bit. When I take my photo in a second, I'm gonna get the face, I'm gonna get that arm, I'm gonna get the little bird on there. Now, it might take a little bit of playing around to get to grips with that, but a little bit of trial and error and you will certainly get the view that you're after. So when you're happy with what's in your frame, we're gonna come up here and we're just gonna click where it says render and then go to render image. Or you could just press F12 and it'll do it. Now this can take a little bit of time depending on your PC. You see at the moment it says there's a 22 minute time remaining. It's not going to take that long, don't worry. It normally takes about 10 seconds. Uh, to speed up the render, just close down any of the programs. But all of a sudden you can see here now this time has kicked in and it's gone down from 22 minutes to mere seconds. And this is the high quality image that you end up with. Now it's only going to be as good as the source material. So here you can see the t-shirt's all blurred. That's because I made a really poor t-shirt. That's my fault. That's nothing to do with Blender. Then when you're happy with what you've got here, you can come up to image, save as, give it a name, whatever you want to call it. Oh, we were calling it surprised, weren't we? Surprised. And this is going to save it as a PNG file. So once again, choose where you want it. So I'm going to put it back in my OBD games folder. And it's surprised. It'll always put the PNG in for you, don't worry. Save image. And that is it. We've got a high quality image. Now also, if you don't like the image that it's produced and you want to tweak it, you can do that. Just literally click the X and you can reposition your camera. And then there are loads of other things that you can use. Uh, within Blender like lighting effects and this, that and over to really, really tweak your image. But we're not going to go into that today. We're going to keep it simple. So I am now going to close down Blender. I've already saved it, so I'm quite happy. And then it's up to you what you want to do with the image. So for example, I'm going to open up Photoshop. So with Photoshop open, the easiest way to bring it in, uh, to bring in your image is literally click on it in the file location, drag it over. And there we go. There is our image in there. And we could do obviously do loads of other things to make a thumbnail or image or whatever it is you want to do. If you're interested in learning how to do that, then put it in the comment section because I can certainly do more of a tutorial on how to knock up a thumbnail using this avatar render. More than happy to do that. And that is it. That is how to get a high quality render of your Roblox avatar for free to go ahead and be as creative as you want with. So hopefully you found this useful. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.